Good morning, second video. Uh, hopefully a little better than the first, but who knows? Um, you'll know, and I'll see it, and how many views I get. And that's what I do. I study my videos and ascertain uh, those uh, subject uh, titles that uh, um, are, are watched. Um, and, the, and in order to constitute watching a, a video, a person actually has to turn it on, watch it to the end, and that's considered a view. Now, I, I have just a little over 4,200 uh, views thus far. <clears throat> I would guarantee you, uh, it would be over 8,000 if, if, if uh, the people who had turned them on uh, and watched them to the end. But initially, I, I was making my videos at 20 minutes long, and then I would a little longer, a little longer. And uh, um, after a few months, uh, back in, in May, um, they were up to an hour too long. And uh, uh, what I've tried to do is I've tried to take that hour length of time and cut it down to about 10 to 15 minutes. And uh, but uh, giving the same content uh, only once usually now. Uh, but boy, I'll tell you, when I was filling in an hour, boy, it was uh, an opportunity to repeat myself quite a bit. Um, I was just watching on Fox News, of course, uh, because no one in the right mind would watch CBC. Uh, CTV is a bit, well, uh, young Solomon, um, a uh, reporter for CTV, he, he is worth listening to. Um, but I just can't make myself listen to Trudeau. It, it, it's it's a choice. And uh, uh, he he's being interviewed. I just changed channels. I, like, I mean, I never watch CBC, but uh, CTV, they, they play that boy a lot. Um, and I did watch on CTV. I looked up where uh, um, Trudeau was uh, making a speech at the UN, EU, uh, NATO. And um, uh, two people uh, within uh, NATO, uh, one little girl, Christine Anderson from Germany, and uh, another wonderful fellow that I, I, I cannot pronounce his name, but he's from Croatia. And they both uh, denigrated Trudeau, uh, demeaned him, uh, delineated what he had said about uh, China, uh, because Trudeau admires China. I, when asked, um, what is your favorite country in the world? Trudeau, our Trudeau, not mine. The Canadian prime minister uh, said that the country he admired most in the world uh, was uh, Xi Jinping's uh, China. He said because they could turn the economy around on a dime, but that economy pivoted ground uh, the Uyghur people of China who are being annihilated, uh, used until they're no longer useful, and then they are uh, killing them off. Simple. But anyways, I, I watch Piers Morgan on on Fox News. He's on there now. Um, but I'm I'm going to squeeze this video in, and then I'll I'll listen to him. Um, uh, Russia's ruble is coming back, um, increasing in value because the Russian people are firmly convinced that Putin is winning the war. And Piers Morgan, I, I have, I've studied him for a few years. He's been on various uh, news channels and various uh, television programs. And I wondered why, why it was that I so appreciated what he had to say. And then a couple of days ago, he said, well, he was from Ireland. And I thought, okay, hey, I understand Irish people being of Irish descent myself. I, I, I can't say that I understand them like as though, 
I really did. But I understand a lot about them, and thus I realize that is why, in in conjuncture with what Piers Morgan has been saying, um, that that I appreciate them. Uh, we've been told, and um, and rightly so, that the Ukrainian people are standing up uh, to Russia, and they are. And I truly believe that no one of the NATO countries believed that the Ukraine could make as good a show of defending their country as they have, and they've done a really good job. I also do not believe that those NATO countries uh, were as quick to give assistance to Zelensky, the Ukrainian people, as they could have, because they didn't think he would be... They, uh, Putin was firmly convinced that three days and he would be in control of the Ukraine. And he could pick whatever he wanted to be a part of Soviet Russia. And he judged, Putin judged uh, Biden uh, correctly. Uh, Biden tells Putin what the U.S. will take exception to. And, and it's not much at all. Um, Biden's concern is global warming. His concern is um, not failing to take advantage of a truly good tragedy, that being uh, uh, Putin's invasion of the Ukraine, not taking advantage of that tragedy to further push um, Biden, the Democratic Party, their agenda in terms of the new Green Deal. Understand, political leaders uh, like Biden, uh, Trudeau actually as well, you may not want to admit that, but it, it, it is true. Um, Xi Jinping, uh, Putin, uh, the Iranian government, um, they don't care at all about, say, Olena Genev's uh, hiding in a in a bomb shelter in Kiev. That's how we used to pronounce it, Kiev. And uh, the potential loss of life of a mom uh, cradling uh, her three small children in her arms and putting herself at risk uh, via the internet uh, phone uh, system. Uh, and reporting to the world exactly what is going on, it, she puts her life in peril. I have not heard from her for about a week, and I, 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 I do hope she is alive. Because to me, anyone who has enough guts to stand up for their own belief system, um, it's worth listening to them when their words uh, fulfill uh, are fulfilled by what they do. Putin, let's go back to that bastard um, who, who, whom I, I, I hold in contempt. I do not hold the Russian people in contempt, not even a little, not a little, not at all, because they are painted by the brush that Putin uh, wields. And so we look at the Russian people uh, differently, and we shouldn't, than the Ukrainian people, because they're just people. And they have been called over the years the average Russian uh, person as referred to the Ukrainian people as their family, uh, their cousins. They are. But we have... Putin, Biden, 
uh, Trudeau, the way he treated uh, the Canadian Freedom Convoy was a kion to a Hitler, uh, Putin, Xi Jinping um, reflection of how they would treat anyone who was not, as a citizen, totally obedient to what they say. And that's why Trudeau um, did what he did in denigrating the Canadian Freedom Convoy, of which I, I had very small um, time with, but what an honor for me to meet Canadian Freedom Convoy. Protesting, rare thing for a Canadian to protest, but they were protesting. And our leader, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who, uh, whom I hold in abject, absolute contempt, called them Nazis, uh, every other ism that you could think of. But he wouldn't talk with them. But he would talk and march with Black Lives Matter. He would talk and march with the LGB community. I, I believe that all lives matter. I believe that uh, Black Lives Matter uh, no more than any other color of a person and or no more than any other person in the world. I liken them unto uh, Trudeau, who supported them, uh, Putin, who would be their inspiration, except for the fact that they are of color, and that would necessitate Putin probably killing them off. Think about it. Same with Xi Jinping. Um, but the fundamental problem in our world is this. Uh, there are people in politics who believe there are too many people in the world. Thus, the more that die, uh, the more Acres will be available to uh, people around the world. China, definitely China. Uh, Soviet Russia, good people, bad leader. Um, United States of America, good people, bad leader, bad politics. Don't you fret the idea that the Democrats in the states are going to lose their positional strength in terms of the next election because they are letting five to 10 million people will cross the southern border and will vote Democrat. Why else do you think the U.S. Uh, uh, Democratic people are not uh, closing the border? They want as many people to come in and vote for them as is humanly possible. It's sickening, really. It's sickening. So Piers Morgan said, Putin is not losing. If he were, the ruble would not be going up. It would be going down further. Uh, Piers Morgan has said what I have said for a little while, that uh, Putin is just realigning his game plan and then he is going to do to the rest of the Ukraine what he has done to Mariupol and um, there are apparently still a hundred thousand people in Mariupol but 90 plus percent of the buildings uh, have been decimated those people live in subways or basements hiding waiting some starving to death being killed. People like Biden, the pretenders, they say, we're, we're going to help, we're going to help. Uh, the United States is still buying oil from uh, Putin to the tune of $27 million a day. Think about that. What a politician says is what a politician believes you want to hear but they don't say anything of true value, worth, merit, nothing. It's all talking points. Okay, almost 15, too long. Don't fret, pray, children.